Look at this box. It's gold and sparkly. Perhaps there's something valuable like gold inside. There could be a parable inside. They're very valuable, and they're worth even more than gold. This box also has a lid on it. Sometimes it's as if parables have doors that are shut. You can't go inside the parable, even if you're ready. And I don't know why. It just happens. So don't be discouraged. Keep coming back again and again, and one day the parable will open for you. I wonder if there's really a parable inside. Let's look and see. I wonder what this could really be. Let's see if there's anything else to help us. Oh, look, it's a road. It's going from this place to this place. There once was someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that the people followed him. And as they followed him, they heard him speaking of many things. Sometimes people asked him questions. One day, a person asked him what the most important thing in life was. He said, you already know. That is true, I do. It is to love God and to love people just like they're your neighbors. The person paused a while and thought. He then asked another question. But who is my neighbor? Then he told him this parable. Once there was someone who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As he went along his way, he was attacked by robbers. They hurt him, took everything he had, and left him by the side of the road. There was also a great priest of the temple who went on the road from Jerusalem down to Jericho. As he went along his way, he came to the place where the traveler was, who had been hurt, had everything taken from him, and had been left by the side of the road. When the priest came to him, the priest went to the other side of the road and went along his way. There was also someone who worked at the temple who went from Jerusalem down to Jericho. He was one of the people who helped the priests. He took care of the temple and helped with the music. He was called a Levite. When the Levite came to the place where the traveler was who had been hurt, had everything taken from him, and had been left by the side of the road, he went to the other side, and he went on his way. There was also a person on the road who did not live in Jerusalem. He was visiting from a country called Samaria. The people in Samaria did not like the people of Jerusalem, and the people in Jerusalem did not like the people from Samaria. When the stranger came to where the traveler was who had been hurt, had everything taken from him, and had been left by the side of the road, the stranger went to him. The stranger put medicine on the places where the person was hurt. He gave him his coat to put on. And then he put him on his donkey and took him to a place to spend the night. The stranger even stayed with him all through the night. And in the morning, he gave the innkeeper enough money for him to stay there until he was well. Now I wonder, who is the neighbor to the person who was hurt, had everything taken from him, and was left by the road? I wonder if it could be this one. This one? Could it be this one? This one? I wonder, who is the neighbor to the traveler? Who is the neighbor to the Samaritan? Who's the neighbor to the priest? The Levite? Who's the neighbor to the thieves? Who is your neighbor?